Hey beautiful people of the internet. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully great and welcome to budget balls where we use zero format and achieve maximum efficiency. In today's video, we're taking another look at Vault, aka the Lightning God of Warframe. We have covered him in a previous video where basically we could then go and push his speed to its utmost limits. Interested? There's a link down in the description to that particular video, and as always, it will be up at the top right. Go ahead and take a look at it. Now, naturally, every time there is a new, you know, update for Warframe, we are going to go and optimize our build even further, such as buffs, nerfs, and of course, the Archon mod, ahem, <coughs> Veilbreaker. But before I continue with the video any further, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys would like to support me or the channel any further, remember to leave a like as this does help me out substantially. Spot and hit the subscribe button. For more Warframe videos and streams, and also ladies and gentlemen, if you guys would like to go and interact with me outside of Warframe, or sorry, outside of YouTube, or doing any one of my live streams, there's a link down in the description to a Discord server, go and join it. Without further ado, let's get this video on the road, shall we? Okay, so one thing I do want to clarify is from the right here, we are going to then go and use other abilities. As you guys can tell, we are going to be sacrificing Vault, usual one. With Terrify, another great option is Ember's Fire Blast if you're in the mood to go and take out the Stranglers. However, I think Terrify is actually a much better version, mainly because of the fact that it can go and armor strip the enemies through walls, you don't have to be in line of sight, and of course it is a one-time cost. With Ember's Fire Blast, even though it is a cool looking ability to go and use with Frost, or sorry not Frost, with Vault, you do have the problem with A, the armor reduction does not reduce, or the armor reduction doesn't scale with power strength. So you guys can go and put as much power strength mods you can, you'll always be resulting with two time cost, which is very, very, very energy hungry. So I do recommend Terrify, but a great alternative is Ember's Fire Blast. As for the build, here is what we're going to be rolling around with. So with the statistics, you guys can tell we are going to be prioritizing power strength, range, efficiency, and sacrificing a little bit of duration. Now as for the mods, here is what we're going to be rolling around with. So we do have Steel Charge, which does give us even more mod capacity. We don't really care about the melee damage as we are going to go and nuke the enemies. But hey, Steel Charge is the best augment or best mod or aura mod that gives us even more mod capacity. More mod capacity equals more mods or more potent Warframe abilities. Next up is we are going to be using a Prime Flow for a bigger energy pool, less restriction on what abilities we can go and use in one singular instance. Next up is we are going to be using Intensify and Blind Rage for more power strength. The more power strength we have, not only does Discharge go and deal a lot more damage output, but also it does scale up with Terrify, meaning that we can go and cast Terrify once, and therefore all of the enemy's armor is reduced. Now remember, the one downside with nuking with Vault is, is that electricity does not scale very well against armored units. By you stripping their armor, therefore you can go and take out a lot higher level enemies. We are also going to be using Prime Continuity, therefore we can get, get ourselves a little bit of duration. Doing so will then, you know, make our damage ticks on the Discharge be a lot more potent, so at least actually being there. We are also going to be using Streamline and Fleeting Expertise for that efficiency. Now remember, a ranked 5 one and a ranked, or sorry, a ranked 4 one and a ranked 4 one does give you the maximum capacity, but because of Blind Rage, we do lose around 55% efficiency, so we are going to be using the maximum version of both of these. The reason for this is mainly because of the fact that you are always going to be proccing two abilities. Vaults 1, that being Terrify, and of course Discharge. Therefore, you're going to be using a lot of energy, so it only makes sense to go and use two efficiency mods back to back. We are also going to be using Overextended because we do want to go and make sure that not only does the armor strip happen on a much larger area, but also we do want to make sure that Discharge does affect the entire map. And not, and finally, and not least, we are going to be using an Archon mod, specifically called Archon Stretch. Now, Archon Stretch obviously came with the Veil Breaker update from the time of making this video. Along with that, we got ourselves buffs, nerfs, and of course, access to the brand new Archon mods. You have to upgrade this one. I went and got myself a rank 8 one. Of course, if you guys do want a much more potent version, go and finish up the last two slots if you do want. Therefore, you can go and have the most range as humanly possible. But hey, it doesn't really affect its secondary ability. But we're mostly here for its secondary ability, and that is electricity damage basically restores two energy over five seconds. This is very good considering how we are going to be spamming his one and four constantly. Therefore, we can just have another, you know, mini energy siphon at work. 
on top of that we are going to be using arcane energize to go and refresh our energy at will or when we go and pick up an arcane or sorry an energy orb and then we are also going to be using generic therefore we can have even more energy back the amount of power strain that you have isn't really enough when it comes to you know vault discharge what you guys can do is you can go and replace Molt Augmented with Molt Vigor, mainly because of the fact that more power strength would equal more damage output or your discharge, because remember, it isn't really that powerful against armor, and some of the enemies are still going to be left one shot, especially if they are high-end ones, so having more power strength just makes sense, but that's entirely up to you guys. I am going to be running around Molt Vigor, mainly because of the fact that I don't have a full set of Molt Augmented. It takes a while when it comes to getting these, mainly because of the caps, but hey, another alternative, Molt Vigor, which gives us more power strength on our next warframe ability or warframe cost if we didn't go and activate our operator ability do go take a look at the rest of my videos there's going to be a whole bunch of ones on your screen along with a description and also do take a look at the ones in the suggestions at the top right ladies and gentlemen i'll see you guys in next warframe video enjoy the rest of you guys weekend i'm met like a banana and split